Mississippi's workforce is getting a boost from an unexpected area, its prison system. Joining us live to tell us more about the new training and rehabilitation programs is the Mississippi Department of Corrections Commissioner Burl Kane. How are you doing this afternoon, Commissioner? I'm doing great. Hope you are as well. We are doing fine up here in North Mississippi. So tell us about the new rehabilitation uh, job training program that you implemented. Well, it's built around the one thing is the welding trailer that we just moved from CMCF down to SMCI in South Mississippi. And this trailer teaches uh, people to weld. It teaches 16 people a day to uh, practice and work on it. And then they move on to welding machines. But we're doing a whole lot of skills and trades and we're using inmates as teachers basically because most people that come to prison have some sort of skill that's just finding it and getting them equipped to go ahead and carry it on to someone else and that's really important and uh, we're looking at it the school skills the schools most of them are at parchment right now and so they're operating so when you're three months out from parole we're going to see that you have a skill and a trade and find your job probation parole involved with that Pro board's working with us really close. I picked up the list this morning of everybody going before them in the next three months. And so then Bradley Lum with with uh, workforce development is working hard too to find them a job and then mm -hmm. get them out and get them a job and get them working, be taxpayers, not tax takers. And so that's what we need to do. Now, that's Commissioner, a couple of years ago, as I mentioned to you during commercial break, I actually visited Central Mississippi Correctional Facility to look at the rehabilitation programs that were implemented there. With welding, why was it so important for you to implement this tool, especially when it comes to inmates, making sure that they get higher paying jobs? It is, but it's demand. The job demand, especially at Ingalls and so forth, is tremendous for welders. The same is true for small engine repair. That's a side by side and boat motors and so forth. So we're really focusing on that and equipping people to do those repairs. And they're employable because they're getting an ASC certification. And uh, that's what you have to have so that you're employable and you're proficient in that trade. Also in the, in the carpentry, for, for instance, in plumbers and air conditioning, it's NCCER skilled and trade and that certification. So then People will hire you because you're certified. They know you know what you're doing. Now, and that's what, what makes you employable. Okay, I do apologize for interrupting there. So, Commissioner, what else are you doing to make sure that um, inmates who actually leave the prison system not are not only repeat offenders, but make sure that they are able to set up and get a job? Well, with the skills and trades and jobs, we're also working really hard on, on the alcohol and drug addiction and trying to get those people through those programs as well and then carry over with Mississippi Medicaid so you would have the same therapist when you get out on the street and when you are employable and also do Alcoholic Anonymous and so forth have those programs so really soft skills as well as moral skills and we hope to get our two churches started the one at Parchment the one at uh, CMCF here in the next month or so so that's going to be good okay and just well, a final question clear. Regarding this welding program, it's actually going to all of the prisons uh, throughout the state in the course of 90 days, am I correct? It is, and so it's, we, it's based on a big trailer that it's 40 foot, 50, 52 foot trailer that has eight welding simulators in it. And right now it's at SMCI, like I say, and it, it'll move again around the state so that we continue to keep it going and training people to be welders. All right. Thank you so much, Commissioner Burl Kane from the Mississippi Department of Corrections joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Mrs.